Um, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> ah! Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Chloe. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Uh, it's only my third video, so you probably are. Um, yeah, so I feel like my last video sucked, so I want to redeem myself. So today I'm doing a June favorites. And this is going to be everything. I'm going to be showing you everything that I've been loving in the month of June. And yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing that I'm going to be showing you is the Mario Badescu Skincare Cleansing Orange Soap or Orange Cleansing Soap. It's literally amazing. It smells like oranges, which I love because citrus is my favorite scent, if you did not know. I hate floral, but I love citrus. And it's just very refreshing. Um, I really enjoy it. I've used like, it looks like I haven't used a lot, but I actually really have. I've been using this for a good few months and it, it lasts. It doesn't look like a lot, but it lasts. And then to go with that, I have my, my, um, little face brush that I got. It's a Duval face brush, which I got 70% off because I used the code Tana. Um, this is a something that Tana Mojo always brags about and I just really wanted to try it and it was 70% off so I felt like that was a deal I got it it's just a little face brush it has many different it comes with many different um, brushes you could just take off and put right back on and like change it there's a big body one which is like a, a bigger head um, and it's just it really like feels like I'm cleaning my face out and getting all the dirt in my pores out which I love so now I'm gonna get into hair the first thing that I have is what I showed you in my last, in my first video, the haul. It's the Good Stuff Complete Repair Balm No Rinse Conditioner. This thing is amazing. I have used this almost every, like I don't wash my hair with conditioner anymore. I just put like a little bit of this stuff in and my ends and it feels so soft. Like you can kind of see that it's really shiny. Um, and that's because of this. And then something else I'm going to show you, they're together, they're like the perfect duo. I could brag about this all day because the smell is amazing and it actually does what it's what it says it does and it does more and for only a cheap price at Target this was a steal I love it and then that together with these two products it's the Seaberry hair serum from Oblifica I believe that's how you say it it's there's the purple one is medium to coarse and then the orange one is fine to medium so depending on your hair type but it makes them, it's like a little, it's an oil for your hair. <laughs> but it smells like berries and it makes my hair, and this is why it's soft, because I used the conditioner and then I used this. I used the um, the fine to medium one on my ends and look at that, you can see the shine. I am obsessed. It feels so soft and healthy and and I dyed my hair, obviously, as you can see. So they it kind of feels most of the time like hay and these two products together like make it look like I just got a nice fresh cut. I love it. Also, I'm looking in a mirror right there. <laughs> That's why, if I'm like looking that way. I got this uh, Cl Becca Chloe and Malika palette in April, but I have been using it every day this month. It's so amazing. The, um, I use, actually I use every one of these colors every day. I mix the blushes and put them on my cheek. And then I use, obviously, the contour just a little bit on my um, cheeks as well. And I also use the highlighter. I don't know if you can see it, but it's amazing. This thing is my go-to. Becca makes the best makeup. I love Becca. It, and the fact that it's Chloe Malika, like, hi, my name's on there. Yeah, it's not spelled right, but, like, it's my name. <laughs> So that's what I have for makeup. And then I also have my favorite lip duo, which I'm actually, or combo, which I'm wearing right now on my lips. It's just the NYX Butter Gloss um, in the shade Creme Brulee. And then I'm mixing that with Diamond Juice, Diamond, Diamond Juice from Jeffree Star, which I've been using more than the Candy Drip one, which was also in my first video, the haul. So yeah, these two really work together on my lips. I love a gloss. It's my favorite. And then I also have uh, my favorite um, perfume, which is from Urban Outfitters. It's the Fruit du Dragon Eau du Parfum. Parfum. My favorite scents are citrusy scents, and this thing is amazing. I've also had this for a long time, and it I've used it every day for a few months now, and it lasts. Like, there's definitely still a lot in there. I'm definitely going to be purchasing 
from Urban Outfitters since again. And the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is a company called Narc Cases. I believe that's what they're called. The link is going to be in the description below. I might be saying it right just because I'm an idiot and I don't know um, I don't know how to speak. <laughs> but it's this case for my AirPods. It looks like a little Coco Chanel perfume bottle. And if you know me, then you know that I love, I'm a sucker for like Chanel anything. And it's just, it's just like a little two-part piece where you could just, it's, kind of like squishy i don't know how to describe that i'm bad at describing things i love it it's the cutest little thing ever look how tiny it is it's just i'm just obsessed oh sorry i can't hear you i am i have my airpods in i'm too cool for you you want to talk to me maybe you should get some airpods and then we could talk just kidding i tweeted about that and everybody was like in uproar I was just joking, I don't really mean it. You, I could still be friends with you if you don't have AirPods. I don't mind being friends with people who are poorer than me. Or, <laughs> just kidding. Um, <laughs> I love being a charity worker. So then the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is food related. It's gonna seem weird, but uh, the last few months of college and then this month because I work um, in an office and I love taking this for work because it's just, it's so easy for lunch. It's just the um, ready pasta fully cooked and you just pop it, you just tear the top off, pop this in the microwave for 60 seconds and you have pasta and you just pour anything you want on it like butter or just pasta sauce. You could also heat up in the microwave just super quick and it's literally so filling. Like all this is so filling for a quick uh, lunch or just like a dinner. And in college, this was a lifesaver. My friend Cameron, shout out to you Cameron, we ate this all the time. And we would have like cute movie nights and I just, it just brings you back to college and I love it. And the pasta is really good. Like for only what, a dollar or two, you get all this pasta. That is better than ramen, just saying. So I got these at Target. Um, and because I have my contacts now, I can actually wear sunglasses and I love it. I hate glasses. I hate wearing glasses. I hate having to wake up and put my glasses on, but with contacts, even though I still have to wait, if I sleep with my contacts, which you're not supposed to do, but if you wear contacts, then you know the enjoyment you get, like the satisfaction you get with waking up if you sleep in your contacts and being able to see. I wish I was able to just wake up and see, but now I have to pay to see which fucking sucks so yeah i got these from aviator sunglasses but like reflective on them from target they just look like this i'm actually obsessed with aviators i think they i think it fits my face really well and because they're reflective you can't see if i'm like looking at you or not which is awesome <laughs> perfect for summer like if i'm on the beach or if i'm just being shady and like looking at you then you won't be able to tell like i might be staring at you but you don't know <laughs> i love them okay that's this Ah, I just love these so much. The next thing I'm gonna be talking about um, is kind of like a weird item. Not many people care or like know about this. I took a, if you don't know the store 511, it's kind of like a um, tactical shop and they do um, lessons or classes that you can take for free and you can learn how to handle a certain situation, like saying a school shooter or just like a public shooter. They you could go into this class and they'll teach you everything that you need to know in order to feel safe in that moment and like to think clearly and be the person that helps other people instead of also being like the person to freak out and not know what to do. It's a pretty cool class and it's a pretty cool store actually. I have taken one class where they taught me how to do a tourniquet so far. I didn't really know what a tourniquet was to be quite honest, like you hear people talk about it, but I didn't know how to use one and I didn't know the importance of it, I guess you could say. So now I have one and I carry it around with me everywhere because you never know. In this day and age, the certain situations that people get into or just are forced into is really bad. For example, just like all the public shootings that happen, it's really important to be safe and to be that person that knows what to do. And if anyone were to get shot around me, then I could just whip out my tourniquet and apply it on their arm or like their leg and hopefully save their life. Like that's, that's what this is for. Crazy. It's bright orange, so if you are in the dark or like you don't know, or if you're in like a hurry, you just find the color, like whip it out. It's pretty neat. It looks like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna here's like a little tourniquet lesson from Chloe, um, just in case. It looks like this, and then you just undo it like this. 
you put it as tight as it can as it can be um, above the wound you're gonna want to put it super high up like on the arm or the leg never around the neck because <laughs> that can kill someone but yeah you just put it like super high up on the arm let's say if I got like shot <laughs> this is so weird I'm so sorry let's say if I was like bleeding out or if I got like a knife wound or something on my arm like down here um, or even down here and I want to like stop the bleeding you put it as high up as you can like in your armpit and like you just um, this is a very like quick tutorial tutorial I'm not doing it right but like and then you would want to twist this like three times so it gets like really tight I'm not gonna do it like all the way and then that will this will stop and then you put that down and you can also write the time and stuff on there it's really tight um, Obviously you would put this all the way around too, I didn't really do it correctly, but as you can see it's, it's super tight on me. But yeah, you just like put this on the arm, it stops the bleeding and potentially can stop someone from bleeding out, which is important. So yeah, this is my number one favorite of June, I would say. Of all time, this is always going to be my favorite thing. It's just so important and scary that someone feels the need to inflict terror on other people and I definitely want to I want to be someone who can take charge and not be afraid if someone's shooting at a group of people I definitely want to be the person to step up and help save those people that are being shot at and getting past the fear of being shot I'd rather be shot trying to help someone than just running away and not helping anyone at all you know that's just me so yeah that is an important favorite and it can save someone's life. I think it's pretty neat. I don't know. <laughs> okay, moving on from the heavy stuff. I have a few clothing items here. I got uh, about four clothing item items. And the first thing I'm going to show you is from Zara, which is my favorite store. I got this bright orange, kind of like neon highlighter, orange sweatshirt. And it's perfect for work because although it's a sweatshirt, it looks more like fancy and put together than anything else I could wear to work and like I said I work in an office so this is perfect and I got a lot of compliment compliments on it actually at work so yeah and it's just like it has a hood it has a pretty big hood and I just I just love it as well everything I'm showing to you I'm just gonna say I love and I do because that's the point of uh, my favorites but it just looks like this it's just oh, it has like big arms the balloon sleeves, that's what it's called, it's a balloon sleeve, but I don't think it looks good on my skin tone, I'm not gonna lie. I think it looks great. The next thing that I have, I also wear to work a lot, um, it's these leopard print, leopard, no that's incorrect, it's these snake skin um, jeans or pants from H&M, they look like this, they're kind of crazy. I just love it. It's a four. I'm a size four. And just, I love snake skin and leopard print, but <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm that type of person that just like gets so giddy and excited over clothes. It's weird. I should have gone into um, something in the fashion field, but I didn't. I don't know why. I just love fashion. And then I also have this little two-piece set, Soho jeans from um, New York and Company. This is a size zero and it's huge on me. So I definitely have to wear it with a belt around my waist because I have, although I do have big hips and like a butt, I have a really tiny waist. So this, this fits my thighs and butt perfectly, but around my waist it's really big. So I have to wear like a belt around it to like cinch it up and make it kind of look like a paper bag waist. <laughs> it just looks like this. It's blue, it has a uh, floral on it, orange, red, green. It's so cute and it comes with a matching because I just, who doesn't love a matching set? It's the easiest thing, it's the easiest combo to wear. You just throw on a shirt with it and you're all set. And it comes with this matching jacket. Like I have like a denim jacket but it doesn't really have the feel of one. Um, I just like to roll up my sleeves. It's so cute. Like. It's a vibe. <sighs> Again, I'm just so happy with this. It's the perfect summer outfit. I wasn't gonna show this because it makes me look like a basic bitch, but I wear them every day. That's so bad to say. Ugh. 
ever since I bought them, I wear them almost every day. It's bad. It's my Fila's. Look how dirty they are. They were pristine. They were white. And now they're like, I have to clean them. I wear them all the time. They're the perfect shoe to just slip on and go. And plus, I'm 5'2", so anything to make me look taller is a must-have. This whole video is just me, like, sighing of happiness because of the items in my closet. I just love these so much. I definitely have to clean them, though, like I said. But who doesn't love a nice white shoe? They go with everything. That's the last thing in my um, favorites video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I think I'm better at doing hauls and favorites than doing gaming. I'm, I'm, it's not even really a game. It's a iPhone game, I guess. But... Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna definitely do more of this stuff. It's what I like to do, and anything to help me spend more money, I'm gonna do. So if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Comment down below what else you'd like to see, or if you're li liking this video better than my last one, I wouldn't be surprised. Also, subscribe, that'd be awesome. That'd help me out so much. And yeah, I'll see you next Thursday. Bye!